I'm gonna show you how to take regular, ordinary videos and turn them into a cinematic masterpiece all using the CapCut app. And you know I hate long intros, so let's just jump into this video. Number one, you need to find cinematic music. Now the reason I start with music is because music and sound effects are 50% of what makes a video cinematic. Sound is the ability to transport your audience into your story and make them feel something which makes them more invested in your content. So I like to start with music first and then I edit my content around that music so it seems like it's all well and put together. I personally use Epidemic Sound, which is actually the sponsor of today's video. Epidemic Sound is a music subscription site that gives you access to restriction-free music and sound effects that is safe to use in your videos. And that is because they work with their own artists and producers in-house, so they own all the rights to the music. But let me show you my process of how I find cinematic music. So I first like to sort by genres, and then I can scroll down and take a look at all these different genres I can choose from. So since we're going for cinematic, I'm going to choose the film genre, and then I'll pull that right up. I can now search even further by going by moods. I can go by genres again, like action, suspenseful, uh, build, mystery, um, as well as like duration and beats per minute and stuff like that. I'm gonna go for a peaceful, kind of ambient cinematic music, and then I can just start scrolling through, picking songs, and what I can also do is add them into a playlist. So I actually have an entire playlist in here of cinematic songs that I've found that I've enjoyed and added over time. So I can easily go into here, compile a playlist of some of my favorite songs after browsing the music, find one I like, and add it to my project. If you're interested in checking out Epidemic Sound, you can actually try it out for free for 30 days with my link in the description. Any music you use during that free trial period, you have the rights to use. So even if you're in the free trial period, you can use the music in your projects, try it out, see if you like it. Definitely worth checking out in my opinion, but for this project, we're gonna go with this Lights Among the Clouds. I can easily click download here and you can actually download on computer, you can download on an iPad, and you can download on your phone, so it doesn't matter which device you have. So I'm gonna download it here, and let's get into CapCut. So here's the song in my Files app, and all I have to do is click the Share button, and then click on CapCut, and then Import Audio to CapCut, and it'll add that song into my timeline. And now with our song in CapCut, we are now going to edit our clips to the music. So what's really nice is you can see right where the beat comes in, you know, you can see right here, you can see this is the next point of the beat, and then you can see the beat also hits here. So I can organize my clips to that beat. And because there's just nothing going on, and then this is the first note, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna click the plus button, I'm gonna go over to stock videos, and I'm just gonna add a blank black clip, and then I'm gonna make sure it lines up right until the beat drops in. So it'll be a black screen, and then Bane, we'll have our clip appear. Awesome! And then we wanna make sure that this clip extends to the beat of that one. And then we wanna make sure we do a split right here. Awesome, and here is now what we have. Terrific, awesome. Now, what we wanna do is get into the sound effects part of this. Now, you may think sound effects aren't a big deal when it comes to cinematic video, but just wait till we add all these sound effects in, your mind is gonna be blown at how huge of a difference it's gonna make to your projects. Now, the first thing I wanna add is just some ambience. Uh, because we basically have a beach here, we've got a pier, so I just want there to be some ambience kind of noise going on, just so it's just not stale. Uh, so we're gonna hop over to Epidemic Sound, and I'm doing this from the Safari web browser, but I'm gonna go to Sound Effects, and I'm just gonna search Beach, and I'm gonna get a whole bunch of different sound effects related to the beach. Now I found this one, Beach, Florida, and you, you can't really hear much. It's just a very kind of, like someone held out a mic on an empty beach. So I'm gonna add this into our project. So I'm gonna download this one and add it in. And in the same way, this should be the same for iPhone and Android. I just go to my Files app, I click the Share button, and then I click CapCut, Import Audio to CapCut, and boom, we have it underneath and I want the ambience to begin right when the beat hits. Now I wanna target some of the more obvious sound effects. Like we got seagulls and we got waves. So let's go find a seagulls effect. There's our seagull noise. Let's just take a listen. That's actually kinda 
loud, I'm actually gonna click on the seagulls. I'm gonna turn volume down. Cause I want it, I want it to be overpowering noise. I want it to, you know, the seagulls are far away from this camera. I wanna make sure it actually sounds like we are capturing the audio in this scene. Awesome. And then let's go find some waves for our wave here. And then I just gotta align this ocean clip right when the wave actually hits. So that way it actually sounds like it's really doing it. And then one last sound effect I wanna add is right when the beat hits, I actually want there to be a little bit of a bass. So I'm gonna hop over to Epidemic Sound and I'm just going to search bass. All right, full screen here, take a look at this. Step number four, which is to color grade our footage. Now it's super important to keep in mind is we must color grade our footage to the feel we are trying to give our viewer. You can really mess things up. For example, uh, we have this scene here. Let's see what happens if I color grade this. If I go into the adjustments here and color grade this to make it look scary. So maybe I increased uh, the contrast here and turn the brightness down. And then maybe I make the temperature really, really warm. And then I add a vignette to, you know, make this look really, really scary-esque. You know, and then we play the music here. Like, that doesn't look peaceful. That This looks like we're about to make a scary film. Um, so depending how you color grade things, it could totally throw off your video. So we want this to be more peaceful, bright, happy-esque. So that's what we're gonna try and do. So what I'm probably gonna do is increase the saturation a bit so it's a little more happier there. I'm gonna try and keep the brightness on the bright side. Really don't want there to be any too deep of shadows. Like I want this to be a happy looking scene here. What's also really helpful to do is this HSL setting. So if you click on this, you can actually change the effect of just an, an individual color in a scene. So for example, we have the, you know, the orange sunlight here. I'm gonna click on the orange and I'm gonna just turn the saturation of the orange up. I'm just affecting that orange color in the scene here. So I can really make it show that golden hour, beautiful look really, really nicely. So simply put, think about the mood you're trying to communicate with your color grading. And then number two is to just go through these settings, keeping that in mind and kind of mess with them. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm a color grading expert, I'm not. But what I like to know is I'm trying to communicate happiness. So which one of these settings is going to you know, make it seem, you know, communicate that message. Obviously turn up the brightness, making the colors more colorful. Um, or if I'm trying to do something more like thriller and uh, suspenseful, obviously I'm going to have higher contrast where there's gonna be darker shadows. So as long as you have that concept in your mind, you'll be able to go through and adjust the colors and the brightness to communicate the message. Just in case you wanna see me do this live, I'm gonna do it for this one. Otherwise you can just skip to the next step here, but I'm gonna click on adjust and I'm on brightness right now, so I'm gonna mess with that. Ooh, I kinda like it darker. We can kinda see that pink in the sky. Um, I'm gonna click on contrast. Let's move that around. I think I'm gonna do more contrast here. Um, saturation, let's see what that does. I do like the sky getting brighter there. I'll turn it a little bit, I'll go into HSL and mess with that in a bit. Um, so let's do that. Um, got like the pink in the sky, so I'm gonna click on pink. And then on the shadows, I want the shadows to be a little bit brighter, like so. I'm gonna go to the temperature, and I do wanna give it a more warmer look because warm and comforting, I feel like are two uh, important sides there. And then just to show you, here's the before and here's after. Like that looks oodles better than where we originally started. And then finally, step number five is to add the cinematic black bars to your footage. Now there's a few different ways you could do this. Um, I'm just gonna show you one of those ways, which is clicking on the video and then clicking mask and then clicking the film strip, which is you know the cinematic look there. All right, and then the check mark and then just do this to all of the footage. All right, let's take a look at the final project. That's great. Now, if you wanna learn more about CapCut, be sure to check out this playlist. I talk about more cool effects that can be done within CapCut that I'm sure you'll find value in. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you 
over here.